Hey everyone, Jamie here, and in this video we're going to be talking about how we can use an iOS device like an iPhone or an iPad to scan a physical text document so that you can go ahead and share it with others, maybe via email, or maybe you want to upload it to a service like Google Drive or Dropbox, or even a service like Google Classroom if you're trying to upload homework assignments and whatnot. So in order to scan the document, what we're going to be using is the built-in notes application that comes with iOS. So we're just going to launch the, launch the notes application here, and then if you already have a note that you'd like to add the document into, you can just select that note, or like in our case here, we're just going to create a new note and give it a title. So we're going to say test, and then in order to add the document to the note itself, what we're going to do is tap on this camera icon, which will then present us with three options. We're going to choose the bottom most option here called scan documents, and when you tap on this, what's going to happen is a camera is going to pop up that'll allow us to position our document into view so that it can be scanned. So let's tap on that, and here comes the camera. And then you can actually scan the document in both uh, landscape and portrait mode. So if it doesn't fit in portrait mode, you can just flip your phone over and then scan the document in landscape mode. And you'll notice that it highlights itself in yellow and then takes the picture. And then if you have another page you'd like to add, you can just continue to scan and scan and scan and then hit save when you're done. All right, now that we've scanned our document, what we can do is actually tap into it to view it. So if we've scanned multiple pages, we can actually go back and forth here and, and switch between them. We can add additional pages by tapping this button here, which will bring the camera back up. We can uh, crop the document that we scanned like this. So for example, if maybe our desk was the same color as the document that we scanned and the desk was included in this picture, we can actually go ahead and crop exactly what we want scanned in here. Additionally, we can change the color of it, so you have the options of color, grayscale, black and white, and photo. And then we also have the option to rotate the document around as we see fit. Now, if we want to send the document to somebody or upload it to a service like iCloud or Dropbox or Google Drive, we can go ahead and do that by tapping this button here. We can also send it via email, text messages, and uh, all the standard uh, multimedia messaging options that you usually have. Now, in some cases, you might notice that the text up here at the top of the document that was scanned in is different than the actual text in the document. So for example, sometimes you might get one letter or one word or something like that. Uh, if you wanna change the title of the document, all you have to do is just tap and hold, and then you can uh, choose rename here and just type in something else. Once you're done, you can just hit save and it should be all set. And another neat feature of uh, scanning documents into notes is that the note is still able uh, to be used for other things. So you can add some more text in there if you wanted to. Uh, you can have the document in there for reference um, and you can share the note with others. All sorts of things that you can typically do with notes you can do even if you've scanned a document into it. So that's it for this video. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments section below and maybe also share how you use this feature to scan notes and documents and things like that. So thank you for watching and have a great day.